Scrap Build. Hello and welcome to the new video. In today's video, we are going to create one scrappy build. Why scrap? You will hear in a second. All right, so why scrap build? First, let's start with the case. Cooler Master, Master Box, MB520. I bought it for 35 bucks. All right, next thing, Sapphire Nitro. Uh, that was a gift from a friend for free. Next thing, power supply unit. Appella, 1000 watt, also from a mining rig. Very good power supply. Also, a gift. All right, now, AGD. Two and a half inch WD. Uh, it was a scrap from some old laptop, so it is let's say free. Next thing, HyperX Savage, also a gift from a friend from his mining rig. The last but not least, motherboard. Motherboard is MSI FM2 socket A75MA slash P33, and processor <clears throat> that goes on that motherboard is A4. 4000, uh, 65 watts, two cores, stock speed of uh, 3 gigahertz and turbo up to 3.20. And yeah, if you want to see better motherboard and processor in this case, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. And if you want to donate for that particular better motherboard, you have a donor box link down there in the description. All right, let's start with the build. Let's first assembly motherboard. So what you want to do on FM2 socket, you want to bend this processor, look for the mark and find that mark on the CPU socket. So it's here. You don't want to pressure anything. It will just hop in and that's it. So now close this bracket and you're good. Now let's clean for a bit processor. Now we need thermal compound or thermal paste. Arctic MX4 as always until I buy MX5. So what I like to do is to create a cross. Just in this case we are going to use thermal pad just for a bit, not on a long time period, until I buy thermal paste. So only thermal pad that can be better than thermal paste itself is thermal grizzly carbon out. I guess will be enough. So remove plastic. And yeah, we have put thermal pad. Now let's put an. All right. And close the bracket. Plug the connector in and the CPU is over. Now let's put RAM module HyperX Savage. I think it's a 4 gig. And that's it for the motherboard. Now let's put this motherboard into its case. I need a bigger table. Donor box. Like, share, subscribe. All right. PC case. We need a big guy. Pull it up a bit. Oh, this glass is heavy. Oh my God, it looks beautiful. Now let's open second side. We don't need this right now. All right, what do we have in here? This is for RGB and yeah, school documentation. All right, we will need a cable for motherboard. So put it in here. Can you see anything? Yeah, you can. To create everything. That will suit for your view, but I don't know how much you can see. We need a better production for this. So just put it in and press it. Be careful on which side you turn. IO shield. 
All right, like this. Now, motherboard. So, so it's in. Now we need big guy, and we need the screws. Let's put in power supply unit. All right, now power supply. So we need 24 pin for motherboard. We need two PCIe for graphic card, and we need one SATA cable, and of course four pin for motherboard that we already have put it in. So let's see first 24 pin for motherboard. Plug it in. Second one, it's good. Now PCIe one, put it, put it in here. And SATA, come on, get in. All right, now let's put the power supply inside. Not the big case for a big power supply, but we're gonna manage to put it. All right, we are good. Cable management disaster. And we're good. All right, let's put this two and a half inch in this three and a half inch rack. Since this is scrap build, we're gonna not use SSD. Maybe one day. And we're gonna even put just two, two screws on the HDD. Imagine that. All right, we also need SATA connector. Where is it? Oh, here it is. We need you in here, man. So just check this and put it right in here. And now SATA. This is it, and put the unit back into its place. A lot of cables, we can manage. This is a mess. All right, see the mark, and in here. And one more set up for fans. All right, it's a bit messy in here, but you know what? It is a scrap built. Other cables, ah, I don't know. What do you guys see? Let me know down below in comments. All right, let's put backside on it. So why did I get it for? I don't know if you can even see for 35 bucks, just because of this dot. So I don't know. It looked me like a good deal. Close it. Put the screws back. Where are they? Here they are. And now let's connect everything inside. All right, now we need to connect all of these things. So first, say the USB. All right, we're good. Audio, audio. And the most difficult part because it doesn't say anything on the motherboard, so I need to look for a manual for this motherboard. All right, we have connected front panel. Now we need to connect this fan. Let's put him in. Let's just put it like this. All right, now let's put the piece. Well, it will go. And it's in. Well, it looks good. I don't know. And the most important thing we forgot. 24 pin goes right in here. I hope we didn't break anything. So, yeah. Oh, this was a lot of work. And of course, 4 pin for motherboard. All right. We have finished with assembling. Oh, it looks so small. All right. Let's see. Will it post? I have found out that HyperX Savage is not Savage anymore. We are there! Okay, now I need to install system. This was the system that was installed on the previous laptop. I need to 
uh, run a new one and yeah this was a scrap PC build and I'd expected that something will not work I'm glad that is uh, RAM memory because it would be bad if graphica would not work all right so that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching this was PC scrap build uh, leave a like on this video if you have enjoyed subscribe on the channel of course if you want to donate you have a link donor box down there in the description stay good goodbye